Hello and welcome to Baby and Me. I'm Miss Cora from the Weyburn and Estevan Public Library and I'm so glad that you are joining me today. This program is geared towards uh, caregivers who have a little one from birth to 12 months. I'm going to introduce some songs, runs, and bounces that you can do at home with your little one. I have a, an activity that you can also do to help enhance your child's development. Okay, so let's begin. So when you're uh, when you're singing or doing a rhyme with your with your baby, uh, it's best to, of course, always have eye contact, look in their face. Babies love interaction and they love facial expressions, uh, so it's good to talk to your baby often, um, smile, uh, make, and just give eye contact. So I'm going to use a uh, baby Grover here and we will get started. Okay, so this one, we're going to do open and shut them, open and shut them. So of course, if you're, if you're um, if your baby is just a, a new infant, it's in three months, this one would be, may be a little tricky, but you can still kind of open their hands a little bit to still clap. And when, they, if, when they're a little bit older, you definitely can take their hands. They may resist you a little bit. Um, just due to what age level your child is, your baby is, okay? So I'll maybe try... I'm going to actually, I'm going to turn Grover here just in the front, just for right now, for this one. So here we go. Open, shut them, open, shut them, give a little clap, clap, clap. Open, shut them, open, shut them, lay them in your lap, lap, lap. Creep them, creep them, right up to your chin, chin, chin. Open up your little mouth. Oh, but don't let them in. Don't let them in. <laughs> so even if your baby is little, like from birth to three months or even um, a little bit older, you can even creep your own hands up with their body so it will tickle them. Okay, so let's do that one again. So we're gonna go open, shut them, open, shut them, give a little clap, clap, clap. Open, shut them, open, shut them, lay them in your lap, lap, lap. Creep them, creep them, up to your chin, chin, chin. Open up your little mouth. Oh, but don't let them in. <laughs> and this one, is one that you may have done when you were a little one, when you were a child, and it's pat a cake, pat a cake. So this one, I'm going to kind of turn a little bit. So you want to clap your your baby's hands. So pat a cake, pat a cake, baker's man, bake me a cake as fast as you can. Roll it and pat it and. Mark it with a B, or you can use the first initial of your baby's name and put it in the oven for baby and me. Now what I would do with my, my kids is I would tickle them during that time. And you basically can adapt any rhyme song to, um, to make it your own. So, so let's do that one again. So pat a cake, pat a cake, baker's man. Bake me a cake as fast as you can. Roll it and pat it and mark it with a G and put it in the oven for Grover and me. And tickle, 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 tickle. <laughs> so this one, your baby can be laying, laying on your lap on the floor or you can hold, hold your baby in your arms. Grover's a little small here. <laughs> so, little Peter Rabbit had a fly upon his nose. 
The little Peter Rabbit had a fly upon his nose. Little Peter Rabbit had a fly upon his nose. So he flipped it and he flopped it and it flew away. <laughs> so you can pretend you're shooing that fly. Shoo fly, shoo fly. So little Peter Rabbit had a fly upon his nose. Little Peter Rabbit had a fly upon his nose. Little Peter Rabbit had a fly upon his nose. And he flipped it and he flopped it and the fly flew away. <laughs> that one will squeal you. That one's a good one to do even when you're changing their clothes or their diaper. That one's a good one. Okay, so I have, so I thought since it's coming up such nice weather in summertime that this activity uh, would be good for bubble play. So bubbles are great for all ages and even for infants. So babies, of course you wanna be careful of, so the solution doesn't get in their eyes at all, but even from three months, you could, uh, you could get some bubble wands and different kinds of bubble wands that can make small or large bubbles. And if you aim, this would be, this is good eye-hand coordination and also cause and effect. So if, if you're close to like a carpet, you can't see it hitting my the carpet here, but the bubbles actually uh, kind of stay a little bit longer on um, soft fabric or carpet. I don't think they'll stay on the um, table as well. Uh, but then this way, the baby, your child can. Uh, maybe try to grasp it more or even to see it a little better. Now, of course, with three months, um, they're still kind of trying to focus and can't see as clearly yet, but, uh, but they will be trying to look at it. You can make lots of bubbles at once, or you can do bigger bubbles Ooh, that one splattered me in the face. <laughs> and so, as you see, when your bubbles are going in the air, your, your babies, at, they're gonna be focusing and trying to follow that. So that is, that's a great developmental skill there. And actually, this also is a great activity to um, do while you're diaper changing as well, or even in bath time. Uh, th and then you don't have to worry about the, res the solution getting on the floor and all, making it slippery. And then when, you're, when they get a little bit older to six months and stuff, they're gonna start, what you could do, because they're wanting to grasp it more, you could try and blow, and try maybe catch a bubble on the wand. Ooh, that one, oh, so I have one here. And have them, and then bring it closer to their eyes a little bit so they can see and then hope and then hope then they'll be able to try to touch it and then they'll get very excited about that so that's just a simple activity that you can do at home um, at the park or even on the campground so that's a and as i said it's great um, hand coordination trying to catch a bubble trying to touch it and even cause an effect. It's great to enhance a baby's uh, language development right from, uh, right from being born, from birth. As I said, it's great to talk with them and to, um, even if you, they may not understand at all what you're saying, they love, the, it's the voice recognition, the sounds, and eventually they do learn those words. So often what we do as well is we talk about body parts in our body. So um, like touching toes, these are your toes, this is your nose, mouth, here's your hands, your fingers, 
chin, maybe your head. So this song is Here Are the Toes. Okay, so this one's a good one for your baby maybe laying down. Here are the toes of my Grover. Here are the toes of my gal. And here are his feet and his tiny knees. I can't help it, I give them the squeeze. And he's got two arms just for hugging and hands that clap and wave. Four, but it's his eyes, nose, mouth and chin that really draw me in. <laughs> So that one's a nice one just to, to sing and identify the body parts. Okay, and here's a great, um, also a bounce one that you can do. So if you want to put your, you can put your child on your leg if you want. It's a little tricky to see in the camera here. <laughs> so here we go, up, up, up. Here we go, down, down, down. Here we go, backward and forward. And here we go, round and round and round. They love doing uh, movement activities like this. So let's do that one again. So here we go, up, up, up. And here we go, down, down, down. And here we go, back and forth. And here we go, round and round and round. <laughs> And one last one, and this one you can start any time, any age. Of course, this one's a good one for when they are a little older, six months and up, but you can definitely start it at three months, um, singing this one anytime. So here we go round, or sorry, the wheels on the bus. Okay, so the wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round. Round and round, the wheels on the bus go round and round, all through the town. And the wipers on the bus go swish, 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 swish. The wipers on the bus go swish, 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 all through the town. And the driver on the bus goes move on back, move on back. Move on back, the driver on the bus goes move on back all through the town. And the people on the bus go up and down, up and down, up and down. The people on the bus go up and down all through the town. And the horn on the bus goes beep, 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 beep. beep. The horn on the bus goes beep, 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 all through the town. And the baby on the bus goes wah, 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 wah. The babies on the bus go wah, 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 all through the town. And the mommies on the bus go shh, 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 shh. The mommies on the bus go shh all through the town and the daddies on the bus say I love you I love you I love you the daddies on the bus go I love you all through the town <laughs> that one's always a favorite okay well that's all I have for you today be sure to check out our previous Baby and Me videos that we have on our YouTube channel, Southeast Regional Library YouTube channel. If you have any questions, you can contact, contact me at the phone number and email address at the end of the video. And I hope I can answer any of your questions that you may have. And hopefully we can uh, meet in person here in the next couple of months, but um, Thank you so much for joining me and I hope you have a great day. See you next time.